Hi friends, so today we're gonna make some giant fairy wings. I'll list everything including tools you'll need in the description and they should be available on my Amazon affiliate store, but basically you just need 12 gauge floral wire, clear tape and cellophane. That's all that these wings are. So the first thing I did was I laid on some craft paper and I traced my shoulder. So you should use a measuring tape to figure out how big you want the wingspan to be. I didn't do that for this pair of wings and they turned out way too big but you know it's it's totally fine so i then drew out the pattern of the wings uh the cellophane is marked with pencil and the darkened lines that i use with sharpie are going to be the wire frame so that's where i'll be putting the wire if you have a hard time creating a pattern try searching for fairy wing inspiration on google just google fairies and you'll see a whole bunch of wings So this is just the wire base, so any blacked out stuff you see is going to be where the wire will go. So um, they stop up here, they're just lines because I'm going to have the cellophane connecting each one. So that's why those are not filled in all the way. But this is just the wire pattern. And then this big thing right here is my shoulders. Next I take my 12 gauge floral wire and I go over the lines with the wire, connecting them with clear tape. You should also use some wire cutters for this as regular scissors won't work. I don't have any wire straighteners sadly, so they are kind of bent, but you can use your fingers to make them as straight as possible. I would have liked to flatten the wire for this, but I don't have a steel block to flatten them with, but basically you just like hammer the wire and it'll flatten them. And I think flattened wire and wings looks so cool. <laughs> like the, I don't know, the effect of it just looks really cool. So now I'm going through and cutting all the excess pieces of tape from the joints, because there's a lot. Now it's time for cellophane! I cut four pieces, two the size of the top of the wing and two the size of that bottom round part. There is no right or wrong side for cellophane, uh, so it doesn't matter if you flip it over or whatever you do with it, there is no right or wrong side. I use a spray adhesive. When you're doing this, make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area or outside. My craft room has two large windows, one is screenless, so I just open them up and I have a fan directing all of the fumes outside and I still even wear a respirator. I then place the wire frame onto the cellophane and press it on and spray it again and press the top cellophane on as to sandwich the wire. I use my hands to press the cellophane together. Um, also, you can totally spray paint your wire any color you'd like. I painted the wire for my Renfair wings a super pretty gold and it turned out so cute. So I kept with silver for this one, but later I actually used a black wire to kind of see if I can make the wire or the veins, quote, veins pop a little bit. Uh, but it is really fun to see what colors react with the cellophane. I then cut the excess off and cut the cellophane to the shape I like. As you guys saw in the pattern, I kind of had like a cool like cutout effect in between each wire. So I just did that. And then I take my heat gun and I heat blast it to shrink the cellophane to the wire. Be careful of overheating though because cellophane is extremely fragile. It melts very easily, which can have a very cool effect if you like that. Uh, you can actually burn holes into it and that's what I did with my other wings to make it look like worn and stuff. So if you want an old effect, burn some holes into it because it looks so cool. As you can see here, I got the black wire at the test. It's the same 12 gauge and I just repeated everything. So just go over the pattern and I tape everything together. sandwich it with cellophane and 
I really like the way that the black pops underneath the cellophane. I think it turned out so cute. This wing did turn out a little bit different than the other one because I had, I don't know, something happened when I was putting the cellophane on. It bent weird. I don't know. It's fine. Next, I take my U-frame made of hanger wire. Hanger wire is extremely sturdy. And then I actually just tape the wings to the wire. I just wrap some of that black duct tape around it. And it's fine that it's black because I'm actually going in later and airbrushing that section black. At about six minutes and 50 seconds, I go into showing you the U-frame. <laughs> so if you don't know what a U-frame is, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. So I did something a little different. These wings were actually really heavy, so they kept like falling back even with the corset on. So I put on some ribbon straps and it's still on the corset harness. So when you have a corset on, um, it'll be held against your back, but the wings are in full spread at all times. So these aren't like, con friendly wings so you can angle your wings however you want them to be this one just wants to come say hello to the other one i'm just using these for a photo shoot so i am not going to go any further with these I, I actually may airbrush them a little bit they could be better but they're only my second pair of wings and i still don't really know what i'm doing Here's the frame for my Renfrayer wings because those are solely corset dependent. So that U-frame right there, ooh, ooh there's my finger. <laughs> so the U-frame that you see there, it's in the shape of a U, that gets tucked into the back of a corset and the wings just stick out. So as you can see here, my Renfrayer wings just tuck right into the back of the corset. These wings specifically are reinforced at the very top of the U-frame where the wings are attached to keep them from bending the frame because before that they would just like droop over and it looked weird. I realized I didn't really like show too much of that frame. Um, for those are the wings that I just made. God, they're, <laughs> they're kind of a mess. I didn't really tape too much right there just because I kind of wanted them done. But that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be thick. So that's just a ton of tape that's wrapped around a hanger wire. I actually, I think I prefer these wings. I just wish I had some clear tape on hand when I actually made these because as you can see all those like joints are very thick because of masking tape. I like the airbrushing on the tips. It looks really cute. Uh, I think the color on that turned out really cute, but I like the shape of those more. And they're sturdier. See how they're just hanging like that? That's how they are when you put them on. Like they just sit there and they're perfect. But these are gigantic. Here's just a little tidbit of me airbrushing the wings. I didn't want to get too much of it since I'm so new to airbrushing. I didn't want to tell you guys anything wrong or show anything wrong because like I'm seriously like this is like the second thing I've airbrushed. But I do think airbrushing adds a really cool dimension to the wings. Like you can do whatever you want with them. So I had like a shadow effect. I had some highlights. I did put some white along the outside of the wings and it looks so cool. Like I'm so happy with it. You can spray paint the wings as well, like you can paint cellophane, you can spare, spray paint cellophane, you can do whatever you want to it. Just really go crazy with your creativity, do whatever you want. You can add some glitter to them, oh my god, glitter. <gasps> I need to go back and put glitter on them. <laughs> I just think wings are really fun to make, so yeah. I hope you guys did kind of like this video and maybe you're inspired to make your own wings. I would really like to see them if you do. Um, remember, don't give up. Crafting is really hard sometimes. I, I know that same feeling of making something and it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to do and feeling so disappointed with what you just did, but you, you did something. You learned. And that's what's really important when it comes to crafting is learning. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Adam Hunt, Ali R, Blue Panda, David Rosenbaum, Jim W, Murr Kitten, Robert Gallardo, Valdemir, Eric, Lin Su Cosplay, and Ryan Craig. Woo! 
you guys are awesome because of them i am able to do super fun tutorials like this I hope you guys have a super awesome rest of the day go do awesome creative things and i will see you guys next friday okay, bye